Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'll be answering some of the common questions that you were asking me about the Honor 7X. And I have been using this device with my primary SIM for the last seven days. So this is based on my practical daily experience, not uh, just what you say hands on. So let's uh, go, over, uh, go over it. Uh, and the first, and I've uh, taken about 20 odd questions, but uh, I've accumulated the most common ones so that uh, this FAQ would be helpful to you guys okay the first question was from pawan he's asking how is the camera compared to the honor 9i uh, yes this is an interesting one the camera i would say the rear facing camera is almost exactly similar to the honor 9i uh, the only difference is in terms of front facing camera the honor 9i actually has dual front facing camera this is just having a single one so if you take a lot of selfies i would say definitely the front facing camera is better on the honor 9i but if you don't care about the selfies the camera is identical to this uh, uh, 7x because the rear facing camera is almost the same same. Okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, this is by Manmohan. He's asking, does it have fast charging? Any image stabilization technology? No, it does not come with a fast charger. We just get a normal uh, charger and I tried uh, charging this one with a fast charger and it simply does not charge that fast. I would say I, I did not time it exactly, but it took slightly over two hours and slightly under three hours to charge it completely. So the charging is slow, no fast charging and no hardware image stabilization. There's nothing like OIS and anything. But again, at this price point, we don't get those features. This is by Sagar. What uh, about the processor? He asks, if we have to compare with the Snapdragon, which would be the closer? Okay, this is a tough one. I would say uh, this is closer to, this has the Kirin uh, 659. And in terms of performance is actually very similar to the Snapdragon 625 chipset. One thing I really liked about this Kirin processor is that in terms of uh, standby battery life, it is actually really good, even more efficient than the Snapdragon 625, I would say, because uh, it was easily lasting me with my primary SIM, heavy usage, GPS, etc. about one and a half days. So when it's on standby, it hardly uses any power. Uh, so let's move to the next one. This is also a processor related question. This is by Harish. Uh, in Snapdragon processor, there is that Adreno GPU he asks. And in MediaTek, Kirin, it's the Mali GPU. So what is the difference uh, and which is better? I don't have much knowledge about it. Harish, yes. Again, uh, uh, only uh, with the Snapdragon processors, you have the Adreno uh, GPUs because uh, uh, Snapdragon creates their own variants of the GPU and they label it as Adreno. Whereas other manufacturers like MediaTek, uh, Kirin that is used by Huawei and even uh, Samsung uh, with their Exynos lineup all use Mali GPUs. Uh, so again, uh, apart from what is a Snapdragon, everybody else uses the Mali GPU. Uh, technically, I would say uh, many of the games are actually optimized for the Adreno GPU, but these days even the Mali GPUs actually run pretty well. In fact, I did play, I didn't, I did not play a lot of games. I played some casual games and one heavy game that was this Asphalt Extreme. And as you can see, it played it without any issues so yeah uh, the difference is there a little bit i would say um, some of the games are more optimized for the adreno gpu but things are changing because most of the other vendors apart from snapdragon all use the mali gpu uh, this is by gotham is there any big difference between the camera performance compared uh, to the honor 6x uh, is it better than the Mi A1? I didn't do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Mi A1. The problem with the Mi A1 when I tested it earlier was that in artificial lighting and low lighting conditions, the camera performance was not good. But if we compare it with the Honor 6X, I would say you would not notice much of a difference in terms of camera performance. In fact, I would say it's almost the same in terms of camera performance compared to the Honor 6X. I hope it helps. Uh, this is by Anurag. He's asking, how is the sound output quality via headphone jack? Would it beat the Mi A1? In terms of amplification, I would say the Mi A1 does better amplification. Uh, it's not like I, I was not able to uh, hear some good music with heavy headphones like this. I also tried M50 XDs or M40 and it could produce the sound without any issues. Uh, but uh, the Mi A1 uh, amplifier, I, I would say, is more powerful than this one. But again, on the other hand, with the Mi A1, uh, I didn't find a lot of uh, options to tweak down the music with this one surprisingly I dig down inside there were some options where you could customize the sound output that you get get and I was able to get some good sound signatures so again uh, the audio via the headphone jack was actually also very good on this one so no issues I would say 
uh, this is by digit he's telling does the honor 7x come with the gyroscope sensor no sadly the honor 7x does not have the gyroscope sensor uh, this is by Gadget India. Front camera portrait mode. As I've told, yes, they have a uh, portrait mode with the front facing camera, but I felt that it did not make a, a huge difference. If you really want that portrait uh, mode photography, then I would say uh, invest in the Honor 9i. On that, the portrait mode really makes a difference, I would say. On this one, yes, that mode is there, but I did not find a lot of difference. It just zooms in a little bit to your face. Apart from that, the background blur was not that great with the portrait mode on the front facing camera with this one uh, this is by Somen. he's asking how's the ram management and how's the battery life uh, surprisingly the ram management was actually very well the good thing is that it comes with four gigabytes of ram and i did not face issues of ram management uh, with this device over that one week of usage that i've done till now so ram management no issues battery life was surprisingly actually really good this really surprised me even when i was completely on mobile data for example i was in delhi for almost two days and it was completely on mobile data in fact i also used hotspot and GPS and it could last the entire Delhi trip on a single charge that is almost one and a half days so the battery life is actually really good on this only con as I've mentioned charging time is not that fast but battery life I'm actually really impressed with the battery life and the standby time that we were getting so for even if you're sort of a heavy user it will easily last you the full working day and for most of the users it will last about one and a half days per charge and in terms of screen on time, I would say anywhere between five and a half hours to over six hours, you can expect with this one. Uh, this is by Pranab. He's asking, uh, talk about the speaker loudness and the clarity. It just has a single speaker here at the bottom. So the output is similar to what other smartphones you see with the, what do you say, uh, single speaker. Uh, I would say it's slightly above average, not very, very loud, the loudest, but slightly above average. But again, it's a single speaker, no stereo setup on this one. Uh, this is by Ritesh. How is the call quality speaker output and battery? Okay, regarding the call quality, as I've mentioned, I had no problems with this one. I was mostly using this with Airtel 4G because I was uh, um, uh, traveling a little bit uh, and the call quality was actually really good. I tested this in Hyderabad and even in Delhi, the cellular call quality was actually really good. The signal strength was also actually good on this one. And I did take quite a few calls on the speaker phone and the other parties never complained uh, to me. So yeah. Uh, the cellular uh, reception and the speaker output, if you take, uh, what do you say, calls, would be fine. Battery, I've already mentioned. Now, let's move to this one. This is by Venkat. Does it have a physical LED notification light? Yes, it has a tiny physical LED notification light and it glows when you get notifications and whenever you charge also, it glows. Uh, this is by Saurav. Does it have uh, USB OTG functionality? Yes, it has a USB OTG functionality. So if you just plug in a USB OTG drive, it gets detected. You don't even have to install any third party software for that one. So let's move to the next. This is by Dash. Which one is better, the Mi A1 or the 7X? And uh, if camera is my priority, portrait mode to be specific, I really have to test uh, them side by side to see which one would be uh, better. I'll have to do that because uh, the portrait mode on the Mi A1 actually does uh, pretty uh, good in outdoor lighting conditions when there is a lot of lighting. But in indoor lighting conditions, uh, in artificial lighting and lighting like this, the Mi A1's portrait mode does not work that well. So I'll have to really test them side by side. Uh, I'll try to do that. Uh, uh, I'll try to post that video sometime next week because again I'm traveling. Uh, this is by Swapnil. Uh, he's asking, should we add more money to buy the Honor 9i? And what are the main difference between the 9i and uh, 7x apart from the front facing camera? You have answered it yourself. The only difference I would say practically is just that front facing uh, camera, which is slightly better. Uh, because of that uh, portrait mode and the proper dual camera on the 99. So if you don't care a lot about selfies, save your money and get this Honor 7X. I would say uh, that's a better bet. Because general performance and everything, it's almost the same. And uh, this question is from uh, uh, Jen. Uh, Redmi uh, Note 4 and the Honor 7X camera performance. Obviously, the camera on this uh, 7X is way better compared to the uh, Redmi Note 4. No comparison, I would say. And uh, this is by Vishal. He's asking, how is the build quality and enhanced feel? In fact, the build quality is actually good. Uh, it gives that very premium feeling, I would say, uh, because of the new aspect ratio, 18 to 9, as you can see. And uh, 
the screen quality also is actually good some of you have asked me about it the screen quality is good the auto brightness calibration is done well the in hand feel is good though it is having that six inch screen it's nice to hold in the hand but again one thing is that the back is sort of very slippery that is one thing that i have noticed uh, but in terms of looks and build quality i have uh, no complaints uh, before we move to the last three uh, questions here is a word from the sponsor of this video that is cashify.in are you looking to buy this device or any other smartphone then sell your old mobile and laptops on cashify.in to unlock the best market price check out cashify.in to encash your phone in less than 60 seconds Okay, the next question is from Charan. He's asking, does it have Google Assistant? Yes, it has Google Assistant. For example, if I just press this home button. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. So yeah. I can help you find. So the Google Assistant works without any issues. And uh, this is by Ayush. Does it support 4K video recording? No, there is no 4K video recording on this device. And this is the last question. This is from Prateek. Is it worth upgrading from the 6X to the 7X? Frankly speaking, in terms of performance and also in camera performance, I would say you would not notice that much of a difference. The only difference is in terms of that styling and this new aspect uh, screen ratio that you are getting. So technically, I would say if you already have the 6X, you really do not need to upgrade to this one. But again, if you like the styling of this one, this looks a lot modern, then you can do the same. So these were the common questions that I was getting regarding the Honor 7X. If you still have any other questions regarding the Honor 7X, do post them in the YouTube comment section uh, and I'll try to include them in my other videos. So guys, that's it for now for this video. If you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.